Hello, Jim. Hey, Tibby. Hi. Hi, I'm everybody. Here. So yeah, we're which, testing out the uh, the gimbal here. We're testing out the smaller motor that we have, which seems to be doing a fine job. As you could see, a uh, slow rotation with a uh, brushless motor. Yeah, it's barely uh, perceptible here for people on camera. Yeah, we can see some rotation. Okay, can you go? Can you go a little faster? So we're driving these motors. Uh, we put a bigger motor here to support the weight and a smaller motor in the back yeah as you can see now it's almost vertical mm -hmm. driving it with this circuit here so as you could do you, I, I could say that the uh, it works that's for sure yeah can you go a little faster Just yeah to see sure. how it, uh, yeah so this is the core driver that's commutating the motor now um, the, the the layer uh, I haven't attached the layer that actually uh, controls the direction and the speed because there's going to be a um, an acceleration curve a deceleration curve mm -hmm, mm -hmm. based on the distance of the angle that you want to yeah that you want to move to uh, that layer is not attached this is just straight up controlling the motor so, if you so it's going to jerk a little bit you say right uh well we're going to go a little faster now so yeah it's going to jerk a little bit Whoop, there we go so that's a little faster Still nice smooth control, eh? So we're driving this circuit here yeah, with this. So the the, very the small motor looks very good. The torque looks very sufficient, eh? For this job, for this job. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Wait a second. Let me put a micro manipulator on top of it. Put it here. Yeah. Okay, let's go a little faster. Oh, this is gonna. It's gonna what slide? Slide, yeah. But there's no, there's no. Can uh, you put it in the magnets? The magnets are there. Oh, the magnets are not. Uh, hold on. Just disconnect the battery, right? Yep. So let's put. Uh, Turn it upside down. I think. Uh, <coughs> oh, we haven't glued the oh. batteries. Eh? Uh, we haven't glued the uh, the magnets, eh? So no, they're not glued, so okay, they come so out. You have to. Don't press too much on the. Uh, Here we go, like this. Okay, we'll put it on. You want to offset the weight? Yeah, offset the weight a little bit, yeah. Okay. Uh, now when you set it on, it's probably it's just connecting the 12 volt. Well, I can't tell where it is now, so it's going to jerk. Yeah. No, it won't jerk like this. And okay, perfect. Just get the wire out of the way. Yeah. Oh, good stuff. So it's got the torque, man. It's good. Okay. Yeah, these ones, you can balance them pretty well. Well, let me see something. I want to see how good it's going to commutate a little like faster. Uh. Okay, just engaged. There we go. Now we're going a little faster. So I guess you can make it go this fast when you want to, you know. Oh, and by the way, if you want to know for the precision right now, it's uh, one sixth of a, of a degree. Okay. So it's doing every every full rotation. It's doing two thousand one hundred and sixty steps. Okay, yeah. it's still jerking sometimes. I don't uh, know. It's jerking because uh, I'm not using the right curve right now. I told you, look, this is not the right code. Okay. And uh, I thought I had saved it, but it's not. It's on GitHub and all that. Um, yeah. Should we go faster. <laughs> you know what? You know. You know what? What? Uh, the difference between this and uh, an electronic speed controller. Can you hold the wire a little bit? Yeah, sure. Hold on. Yeah, see now you can see the jerkiness, eh? Yeah. Yeah, that's because I, um, I think I'm off by one number on my curve. Uh-huh. Anyway, so we're just using this crude electronics. Because I have a, I have a, I have a, a lookup table for the sine wave for each phase, mm -hmm. and it's offset by 180 degrees. I think I'm one number short because <laughs> it's, it's a bunch of numbers. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, I think I'm I'm short one number, but uh, I can fix that. Okay. If we go back to the really really slow. So basically. Yeah, now it's moving very slow. Oh yeah, now I put it to move very slow. I just want to see the torque at that speed. 
Okay. So, still have the, some work to do on this. Yeah, this support. arm is flexing the support. We just got to redesign. I think the infill is not enough. Um. And probably work on the uh, on the arm here a little bit because there's still a lot of weight and. We have to test this bigger motor here to see if it holds the yeah, entire weight. Yeah, this bigger here. motor, um, I think we might have an issue with it. It's a lot of weight. It's made to handle, um, a uh, how many pounds did we say this one? Uh, about almost five pounds. Yeah, to be used with a huge camera. So this thing weighs, uh, but I mean five pounds, but a balanced weight, eh? Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. So... Uh, this is a little bit off axis. The weight is on the other side, and I think we have 400 grams, a little bit over 400 grams. Yeah. So the question is... It's funny how the uh, micro manipulators, they're sticking in the bottom there. Yeah. Okay. And um, I know like this one we're having issues with the, with the torque right now, but we're not even giving it full power. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. So see when we replace these electronics with... Yeah, which is going to be on Thursday. Uh, Thursday? Yep. Okay. Because Thursday we have uh, some parts coming in and... Uh, and hackathon, so and a hackathon, uh, yeah, we have so the shooting. Yeah, we have the shooting on Thursday. So <coughs> I don't know about this L-shaped arm. If we have to put another um, another support on this side, so it doesn't shake like that anymore. You see what I'm saying, uh, Jim? Yeah, it's a bit shaky. But that's because of this. This is not rigid enough. Yes, this this part is not rigid enough. That's for sure. Yeah. Yeah. This is pretty solid. And we haven't screwed in all the bolts, eh? <laughs> yeah, we cheated a little bit. We just have a few bolts. Yeah, because uh, we were testing the different motors. Yeah. Yeah. So I had to drill some holes uh, in these 3D printed parts. This is how this mounts here. There's like a, an oval hole. It mounts on top of this. Well, that's it for now. Um, little steps at a time. All right. <laughs> Sign off. Sign Thank off. Thank you.